Officers who stand for justice. Heroes who stand for hope. Miami Animal Police starts now, only on Animal Planet. On this edition of Miami Animal Police, ACO Kathy Labrada is angered by horrific injuries to a neglected dog. It's completely eaten through her neck. It's this deep. That's disgusting. Miami, Florida. 2,000 square miles from South Beach to the Everglades swamps. Home to millions of creatures, from raccoons to reptiles. But just one police animal services unit dedicated to animal emergencies. The team of 20 animal control officers respond to over 150 calls a day. From dangerous dogs to gators on the prowl. When duty calls, the ACOs are ready for action. The Animal Services Unit is a 24-hour, seven days a week operation. A team of people from vets to volunteers ensure the best care possible for the impounded animals. Today, ACO Kathy Labrada has been called to a house where a stray dog's been spotted with a serious injury. The man who made the emergency call leads Kathy to the animal. The homeowner claims he doesn't own the dog, but Kathy is suspicious. The dog seems very friendly and appears to know its way around the property. You know, for a dog that just wandered in New York, she should have thought that she lives here. When did this dog show up? Good morning. morning. And she's already this friendly with you and thinks she lives here and everything? Yes. Kathy believes the dog has outgrown its collar and it's become embedded in his neck. It's, it had to have been put on her when she was maybe 10 weeks old. Look how far. Hey, girl, I know it hurts. I'm so sorry. It's this deep. I'm gonna move right here, and you're okay, Mommy. It's completely eaten through her neck. That's about the most blatant act of cruelty that, that, that a person can, can inflict on an animal. That's disgusting and completely preventable. Put a collar on the dog when it's a puppy, turn it loose in the street, the dog grows up and ends up basically being strangled by its own collar, and now it's completely embedded and grown. It's at least two inches into her neck. It's disgusting. An embedded collar causes severe injury and even death. Anyone found guilty of such animal cruelty faces fines of up to $5,000 and jail time. But catching the owners of this stray dog could be virtually impossible. She was obviously someone's dog at one time, and she sure didn't put the collar on herself. So I'm hoping she's got a microchip and I'll be able to track down the owners and, and prosecute them for animal cruelty. This is. It's just the most disgusting thing that a person can do. Kathy quickly scans the dog for a microchip, but her search draws a blank. Unfortunately, she doesn't have one. So this is another case of a dog that just has suffered terribly at somebody's hands, and there's no one to hold accountable for it. That's tough. I, just, I can't understand people. Kathy will take the dog back to the ASU. It's not yet known how the months of serious neglect will affect the Doberman's chances of survival. Dog with a lacerated neck undergoes surgery. Two days ago, ACO Kathy Labrada was called to recover a Doberman with a severely lacerated neck believed to have been caused by an embedded collar. It's completely eaten through her neck. It's this deep. There's no sign of the collar itself, and it's likely the dog tore its flesh further while freeing itself. Today, the dog's been taken to Broward County Humane Society, where she's assessed by clinic manager Christine Mitchell. What we're going to do is anesthetize her. Um, we're going to shave all this up and clean it up. It's a lot deeper on one side than the other, which gives you the idea that maybe she was pulling on a, tr on a tree or, or chained up somewhere. The dog is given an anesthetic. <laughs> there she goes. And carried through to the operating room where the dead tissue is cut away. <laughs> given time and the proper treatment, the wound should eventually completely heal. Everything looks really good, the wound looks good, and hopefully it'll heal up, and everything looks great. 
We're putting a fresh bandage on her now, and then tomorrow we'll recheck her, we'll change her bandage, and she'll, if everything looks good, she's gonna go out for adoption. She'll do much better for healing if she's at home and, and in, a, in a comfortable environment. But during her stay here, we'll take care of her, we'll change her bandage every day um, to make sure it's healing and everything looks good. She'll be staying on the antibiotics and staying on some pain medication. The Doberman is placed in recovery. Once the anesthesia wears off, it's hoped she can be placed up for adoption. On Miami Animal Police, has the abandoned dog with the lacerated neck finally found happiness? Three weeks ago, ACO Kathy Labrada rescued an injured Doberman with a severely embedded collar. That's disgusting and completely preventable. Now, the dog named Nikki is living with a new family and her owners, Scott and Anthony, are delighted with their addition. Are you gonna get it this time, Nick? You gonna get it? Nikki now lives on five acres of fenced land with a menagerie of other animals. In just three weeks, Nikki's badly lacerated neck has almost completely healed. This is the deepest side here. And um, you can still see it's a little bit, a little bit open. We just put a little medication every day and she, she does really well. This even, this looks so much better even from, uh, from when we got her. It's amazing how sweet she is and how gentle she is after all she's been through. I mean, she's been through a, a horrible, horrible situation, so. Couldn't be a sweeter dog around, I don't think. Nikki's one of three dogs living on the enclosed property. Allowed to roam free, she'll never need to wear a collar again. Nikki's the perfect addition to the family. And I think the other two agree. Our rose. Yes. Thanks to the ASU and a lot of TLC, Nikki now looks set to live out a happy and fulfilled life. We're talking about protecting your pets. And a good way to start is by breaking the chain. Nikki is a three-year-old Doberman Pinscher who'd been chained up in a backyard for so long, yes. the chain actually was embedded in her neck. Mm. It took surgery to remove it. And now she is the poster pet for the Broward Humane Society's Break the Chain campaign. And look at her go. Fort Lauderdale Elementary students got to meet Nikki and her new owner today. Nikki now runs free on an emu farm in western Broward. Morning. They're helping to break the chain on a way of life that leads to misery and injury for many dogs. We're going to meet Nikki, Nikki and her two owners coming up next. It's a story you won't soon forget, I promise. We'll be right back. The Broward Humane Society's Break the Chain campaign is meant to bring attention to the tragedy of dogs who live their lives on the end of a chain. Dogs who are constantly chained tend to become depressed or aggressive or worse. Nikki, who serves as a spokes dog, so to speak, actually had the chain grow into her neck and she had to have it surgically removed. Well, she joins us today along with her owners, uh, Anthony Vin uh, Vincent and Scott Christensen. Good morning, fellas. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us Nikki's story. You wrote me a letter and, and spelled this out and it just so touched me. I'm so glad that we finally got together and that you're on the show to tell us about your campaign. How did all this start? Uh, it started in Miami-Dade County. The Miami Animal Services um, um, captured her. It was, a, it was an, a cruelty call. She was transferred because of the severity of her wound to, uh, to Broward, uh, the main side of Broward County, where they did the surgery, and then they placed her up for adoption. So uh, Scott's mom and him went to, uh, we lost a, a dog, um, uh, Chelsea. She died, uh, you know, unfortunately due to a heart problem. And uh, uh, her friend, Chip, needed a friend. So right. they went to the Humane Society, and uh, there was Nikki. His mom came home with him crying and told me about the dog with the scar on her neck and uh, it was a terrible thing and uh, I went down there. Well this is actually video from the animal planet that yeah. we were just looking at. Yeah. She was on the end of a chain, she grew, the collar that was part of the chain did not and the people just left her out there? Yep. And then either she got free mm -hmm. or they released her, one of the two, and they found her just wandering the streets with Nikki, come on. Wandering come the streets, sweet girl. With, uh, come here, sweet, sweet. Come on. You've been so good all morning. <laughs> yes, you have, and so patient. Come on. But, but what's great is that this sort of became a cause for you. Yes. Tell us what you're doing to help break this cycle. Well, everybody needs to, to realize that uh, you know, people took dogs. Dogs came from you know, they're 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 used to being in packs and and socialized. Mm -hmm. uh, when they obliged us and 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 came to be uh, pets, you know, we've 
we've uh, accepted them as pets, you just can't take everything away from them. Right. So you put them on a chain at the backyard, they become part of the yard, part of the furniture, whatever the case may be, and they're ignored. And this, uh, this is a terrible thing for the dogs. It's a, it's a, um, everything is stolen from them. Right. And, and it can lead to, uh, uh, um, you know, the uh, injury that Nikki received. Right. Not only the injury that Nikki received, but as you pointed out, these dogs who are kept without human contact largely, and at the end of the chain, when they do get off, they become aggressive. Very aggressive. Fourteen percent of the uh, dog bites in Florida uh, were caused by dogs that were left on a chain and broke loose. Correct. So now you're working to get a law passed in Broward, and it's actually really going forward, right, guys? It is. It's uh, passed in four cities, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, Dania Beach, and just uh, two weeks ago, Oakland Park. Yep. That would ban all dogs being on chains. Correct. It's and it would ticket the owners that do this? Um, if it's a non-life-threatening situation, they'll issue a citation, and um, most of the people are complying from what we understand. That's um, great. If it's a life-threatening situation, the uh, police are called in and the dog is, is rescued, taken away. That's great. So, and you're yeah. working very closely with the animal adoptions too right now, yes, right? Yes, uh, that's true. Every animal uh, that we have is an adopt or a rescue. We don't uh, purchase animals. We, uh, 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 Scott and I worked together for uh, 14 years <laughs> on, um, you know, just uh, adopting or saving or rescuing. And what's her prognosis? I know that you were letting all, everybody fell in love with her at the station, by the way, when she came. And you can barely feel, there see this is. looks like coloring down here, but this is actually her yeah. scar yeah. There from where right the there. chain was. Yeah. Oh, baby. That's a... Uh, that's the uh, that's the education part. If it right. go, if it's allowed to go that far, mm -hmm. you know that's just that's just cruel. You know mm -hmm. there, this this wasn't an accident. This was an act of cruelty. Yeah. It was. Um, and the education department uh, at the Humane Society has the kids come in and actually the sweetest story I ever know is when the child came up to me. It was a, a little girl, blonde haired little girl, and she came in. And she goes, you know, they, they they teach them, can I pet your dog? They teach mm -hmm. them how to approach a dog so they don't get hurt. Smart. And so she did. She said, can I pet your dog? And then she looked at me and she said, can I touch her scar? And at that moment in time, I knew what the education department was all about. Because that's the future. Those folks are going to be the ones having dogs in the future, and they'll care for them all the, you know, the much better. Absolutely. Because they've seen something like that. that. That little girl will never forget that for the rest of her life, nor will I. I because know. it was so touching. Her two little fingers went right deep into the scar. Aww. And um, it really made an impression on me. Well, you've made an impression on all of us, Scott and Tony, and I really appreciate it. And thank you so much, Nikki. Nikki? Nick. Nick. Look at that. If you want to oh, learn more, the Behavior Helpline's number <laughs> is 954-266-6851. Again, that's 954-266-6851. As you can tell, Nikki still has a lot of puppy in her, and she's a pretty little girl. <laughs> yes, you are, sweetheart. Thanks for coming on the show. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Weather and sports when we come right back. We'll take a break. Thank you so <laughs> My pleasure. I'm in love. I want Nikki. Nikki is Nikki. cute. Nikki, she's so fine. She's so fine, she licked my face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Nikki. <laughs> Love her. Oh, she's very cute. Great story, and very huh? affectionate and fabulous, fabulous story and, well, overcoming the story there and uh, a great message that they have to offer. And they're very passionate about it and they work very hard. So uh, glad that they were on this morning to yeah. share that. And some of the communities uh, taking action in response to their campaign, which mm -hmm. is fabulous. So some positive response there. As That's you said, beautiful but I got bouquet. Beautiful. This is the first time I ever got flowers from a dog. <laughs> Do you remember last weekend that, that beautiful animal who came on with his two owners who we loved, and her name was Nikki, and Nikki was rescued from an animal shelter. Nikki was um, spiked up in her backyard and was, uh, I guess, in essence, left abandoned, and the collar grew into ne Nikki's neck, neck and had to be surgically removed. And so we told her story, and her owners now, the lovely guys um, that we had on the show, are trying to in enact a new law in Broward County that would mean you're not allowed to have dogs on chains. Right. Because it's just cruel, and it makes the dog more aggressive and even depressed. So yeah. thank you very much, Nikki. I appreciate those flowers. They made my day. And they were beautiful. Yeah. I watched them be delivered yesterday. Uh, I, I knew you were in for big things this morning. Are we in for some big